Why you killed the chicken for? Just trying to get all the gems. I, I, except the part where Sparks didn't grab the gems even though I was near them. Come on, Sparks. Yeah, da it seems like dash um, stair jumping is not that effective anymore because of how slow he goes. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick. To yeah, the bulls in this um, game looks better. At least in my opinion, they are. They do. Town Square, huh? Uh, where's the? This is, has to be the smallest town in the universe. I understand this was originally a PlayStation game, but it's still like really. I, mean, I would say I would say at the, the time period it's it's proper size. What time period? That, well, the time period of this is like during the I would say Spain. Is it? This is Spain during like the Renaissance time period. So it's there. Not that many cities were that huge. Uh, I, I'm gonna say is Spyro in that timeline or is it just made mad made up magical timeline that doesn't make any sense. Well, the, 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 clearly. This level is ex is um cake. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? You can tell this level is inspired by Spain. Oh yeah, it's Spain. Yeah, and then uh, if we're going based based off of the the time period by how that guy was dressed. It was during that time period. The guy, well, what, which guy? The one about the, the, bull, the, the bullfighter. Yeah, okay. the matador. Well, people who are still a matador today dresses up like that. Yeah, except they don't kill the bulls no more. That's cool. Animal guys. Nick, you forgot the key. Um, never mind. The key. You forgot to kill the bull. You can come back to that later. What was Nick, really, Nick? I like to try and do like a dash jump to it, and then like, whoop. Kill Ain't quick. killing me this time, ground. You can actually just get him when you jump down. Oh, okay, sports. Alright. And then I gotta go back up there. Did you get the egg? egg? Yeah, I got the egg. Any, Mark, any, the egg doesn't just fall on the I know, ground. but it, it didn't. It showed up on the icon. Oh, I didn't see it. Like, the time I looked, I, was, I just saw him die, and then I didn't see it. But now I gotta get back over there, because uh, I gotta get those jimmy gems. Okay. So the little hop, it has to be when you're actually like kissing the corner. So you won't get one of those ah, like, ah, like I just had it kind of jumps. I wonder if you're having a little, more, a little bit more problem jumping in this one than the other one. It's because of just how fast Spiral was going. It's like, I'm like, I'm trying to go as fast as possible when my hands are not go like used to the level design where I'm like, I can just do this without even thinking about it. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. That's that's I think. No, that's, no, no. The first, no, that's that's still how it is in the original. They don't, they didn't change anything to the uh, the like add any new settings to say. You see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. I like that one in the original because he uh, he actually uh, sounded like an old. He looked like an old man, so that was the joke because he's old. But he doesn't look that old here, so it's kind of just like eh. Missing one. Yeah, yeah, a gem probably like on the ground somewhere from an enemy. Uh, yeah, there we go. Here we go. Yeah. 
even though he could just laugh. Like I said, I am enjoying how fast it is. Like, it almost makes me want to speed run, but not really, though. He, he, he joined it a little too much. Oh, how dare I enjoy an aspect of the game. It's not meant to be fast. It's just meant to play. Play and grab them tits. Oh, like, like I said, how dare I enjoy the way I play it. Yes, how dare you, Nick. You must be a goddamn shame of yourself. Like, like, how dare you have fun? You're only allowed to have fun in this way. Don't forget the flying stage. Alright, I'm not going to do that last. We're not, that can't be the last thing we do on the video, because all the levels are done except for the boss stage. Nick, by the time of this, we... we oh, probably... well, it's only like 30 minutes. Yes. Oh. So we we're, can... we're blazing through this. Because I think it took us about at least an hour to get through with all the levels in the first in the original. Those the Look at the lighting! Modern graphics! Modern was gaming! Was it this dark in the original? No! The light... Well, no, not the, the lighting, but I'm talking about the back. The back? Yeah, no, like, this is how it was in the original. But the lighting makes it all different now. Like... And I think the, the thing was eclipsed, too. Yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah, the dogs in this one are different. Slightly, just slightly different. I say they're fast, but they're, they're faster to kill now. They um, they, 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 they'll, they'll double attack you when you hurt them. The other one, they don't do that. They just jump on you, then run back, and then do it, do it again. Yeah. Because I was at caught off guard. I forgot about that. They could just that. smash it out. Yeah. Okay, look at that. Yeah. Game's faster, boys. Faster game, faster fun. All magically better than the original. <laughs> Like there was this one speedrunner I was watching doing this, and he actually was like, "I don't like it that they added that they made the game a little bit easier, what? like with jumping and stuff." Yeah. He was like, "It's more satisfying that you like you were struggling on this jump for a while, and you're like, yeah, I got it." And and my retort is, "No, it that's never fun, especially with this with Spyro, not making a jump, because every time when you make a jump, it's always you almost made it every time." And it's only because the game was just designed a specific way, you basically gotta do pixel perfect jumps. And it's, that's harder to do in a 3D game than a 2D game. But like, with a 2D game, it's like, it, it's hard, sure, but it's like, you know, it's kind of just like, whatever. It's more easier to understand and comprehend. For a 3D one, it's not. Make sure I grab them all since I don't have sparks anymore. And it's like the thing is like that's the thing what people complained about about in this game. That's why they fixed it in the sequels and in, in the original sequels. They gave Spyro a little hop to actually make the jumps better because no one liked that. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. And I don't think people really played Spyro for difficulty. Cause like I don't like I don't I don't like Spy like Spiral One like Spiral One and Three weren't fun because it was hard they were fun because it was just run fun to run around and collect shit. Nick, Nick, where's Snoop Dogg at? I don't hear Snoop Dogg. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe like, like I said, maybe, like I said, maybe he, he 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 likes Spyro, but like I never really understood those. What uh, the fuck? Those ads. Nick, you clearly saw I burned him twice. It's Mark. It's not that bad. You're acting like, what the fuck? This game sucks now! No, but it's like, that's something I just realized. I was like, I just feel like, you just feel like, oh, that happened. You, get, you just probably just didn't press fire enough. Because it's probably like, oh, there's a small frame window where you can actually do that. What the fuck? Yep. You're kind of just standing in the same spot where you can't actually free fire on him. Wow. There you go. Where are you? Where are you, Snoop Dogg? He like, oh hell, you a cheap. <laughs> the best things about those fucking things, they're so fucking force. You're missing gems somewhere. Go look for them. Okay, then you lost sparks too, so that's also a problem. There we go, let's go. Let's get out. We out, yo. 
Nick, because uh, I, 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 I told Nick, I was like, yeah, um, Snoop Dogg was in the commercial for this. And he's like, Snoop Dogg? And a spiral commercial? Yeah, I said, I thought it was weird, too. You really want to do the flying stage. <laughs> yes, we got to We always need to do at least one. We got to do it. We got to pretend like we're actually, you know, doing this. I mean, we, we kind of used to it now, so it's not that much of an issue. Yeah, sure, but I'm just like, I don't know. That, 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 wasn't, that wasn't really the, the part I enjoyed the most of Spyro and any of the versions of the game. Because I, I, I don't like them in the rem in the original either. And in, like in Spyro 3 or anything. Alright, man, go ahead and do it. Sparks! Come on, now. And this, in the remake, they made it more obvious to jump on these. They're so unique and different. And when you step on them, they actually fucking glow. Well, they glow in the original, but they glue when didn't they glow when you jump off of them, or do you just landed on them? No, nothing happens. No, they glow when you step on them. But um, um, this one you'll get an achievement too for discovering the that's flying the, level. That's the thing that irked me when I was playing Crash the re out the re the, re the remakes. It's like all the little secrets in the original PlayStation game are now all achievements, and I'm just like, okay, so I'm gonna do this my way. And out the way, Mark was constantly doing it when I saw him play. Okay. Also, you can, I didn't know you can fly over the, the boundaries. Because the other one, the other one, I don't think could. Maybe you probably could. But we just never attempted, as we say. The plane, the plane. The plane, the plane. Come on! <laughs> okay, I was like, well, how do I stop and turn around? I was like, I'll just try and go and spiral will stop flying. So you can do it easy, quick turn to think about your life choices. Whoops! Oh yeah, let's start turning. Also, I like that they kept the thing from Spiral 2 and 3 when you fuck up. Spiral's like, darn, I messed up. Aw, oh, damn! Instead of him drowning. Yeah. Though I don't understand quite understand that like I understand it in, in um Spiral Three because you're doing races, but I don't it's like it it kind of doesn't make much sense here because like what's stopping Spiral just not getting back up and going after the rest of the stuff? To your left, yeah. The plane, the plane. And also things I've been hearing about that the stuff the the fuck the flame is um inconsistent sometimes. Like every uh, every one out of ten times, the flame won't just particularly just work really well. So that's a thing. And I don't know. Like as as far as I've been playing it, like it seems fine. And oh. then you just go through there. And then you just go where you just keep following until you go to the treasure chest, which is right there, and then you Leave a couple out so you can get some time going back out. Uh -huh. So like, just probably like skip one or two. Like, get that one, but ignore that one. Or, or I guess get them all. I guess. I don't know now if you have enough time to uh, go all the way back. Go, Mark. Go. Oh. Left. Ah! Get nervous because this is basically the same strategy we did before, and we get like had like a second left. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you guys saw that? I saw it. Pepper's Farm saw that. So now we're gonna do Mark's strategy, which is. Chest first. Well, in the original? No, when you were doing this, when you were playing this, when you bought it. Cause no, what we did before, like what we just saw, what we fucked up. That's what we how we did it in the original, and we got it. Oh, but this is how I I passed when I did it. When you were just playing this for funs. 
waste a couple seconds on that. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. Just don't make too many. We understand, Bob Ross. Well, I hope, well, when I uh, circle around, I'll just run into that one. Like, after I kill all the, the plane dudes. Hopefully, if I'll just turn around and then they'll see, I'll see a smiling face and then I'll just murder him. Good job, Bob Ross. Also, the thing about it is, your time is also kind of rng by how well you kill these guys. Because, uh, you can, you can save time if you get these guys efficiently as possible and don't fucking miss. And shit. Like this, like, see, I'm wasting time right here because I'm not getting all of them. See, like, I, I wasted, like, a lot of time. Because there's still one, yeah, he's right over here. And then there's this guy. It's 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 actually literally over. So I'm just gonna can't uh, do nothing. You can't you can't just oh no. God. You couldn't even do that in the original. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, uh, see, this is the reason why I don't like I like I don't like going back to these. They're not fun to play. They may, they're easier in Spiral Three. I'll say that they're easier in Spiral Three. But the Spiral ones I don't like playing. You say it's easier in Spiral Three. They're, they're they're stupidly easy in Spiral Three. What the fuck? So I, I'm, I guess the hour is going to be used up here, I guess, the rest of the 20 minutes. <laughs> so I was trying to get this done. Remember, guys? Remember how we were struggling with these and we hated them? Do you guys hate them? I hate them, too. Like, even, like, how Spiral 3s are easier, I, I still don't like them. So Nicholas flying with ease like of the brush. Like, you, you see that? You see that? You see what he did? Choo choo. Choo choo choo. Fuck you. He can do it. As long as I don't fuck. Because the planes are probably the one I was having the most problems with. Let me just check a right. I, I, I know more. I know where they, where they are. The plane, the plane. The Japanese Nick. That's the only thing I see when I see these planes. But well, they're not they're not running into f fucking ships. Or saying Manzai. I'll say that's so funny about that. The whole concept, I guess. Because back at that time, all, all I saw it as, gee, that those Japanese are so dedicated to their country. And that's all I can say. That's all I'll say about that. They basically just killed themselves for the glory of Nippon. I guess. You know what's funny? I actually have a lot of time here. Like a lot of, uh, actually a lot of time. Yep. I don't need you to fuck up though. I'm not gonna fuck up. There's only one more to go. Which is right here. I thought Nick was gonna like whoops turn around like go in a circle. I wish there was a quick turn in this. I really do. Wait, I remember that doesn't count as a level when we did this. It doesn't count. Give me that control guy. It did. All right, so it's time to go to the next level. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, they did. They had one thing. Yeah. We'll, we'll tell you when you get when you get to them. Right. Grab those boobs. Grab those three boobs. I guess his hands are out there like that because he's like he's ready to land. He's heading down. I really would, well we can show the dynamic stuff with the water stuff probably in Spiral Three because I don't know when you actually get swimming in Spiral Two. Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Are you ready to go? I don't know why they always highlight that um oh, yes. on yeah. stay here first instead of um going to the next world. I never I never understood that. Well oh, oh I can't move. Yep, yeah, um yep, yeah, so guys this this is what they had to do is they, they, they added talking to the balloonist. That's it. Yeah, he can talk. He <laughs> ain't a silent. Whoopee, he's not a text box anymore. 
Yay! Shrugs. High five, Nick. High five. Shrugs.